It's hard to find the words to describe the forms that lie across this landscape. Forests of stone, amphitheaters of rock. It's as if drip castles made of sand and water were dolloped here by giant children. But these red and pink spires do have a name. They're called hoodoos, which seems like the perfect word given that they could easily be at home in the movie Return of the Jedi. Years of rain and water lash this landscape of limestone rocks, leaving these otherworldly shapes. Imagine trying to raise animals here. That's what a Mormon pioneer named Ebenezer Bryce did. He was the first to settle in this area in 1875. Bryce tried to rear cattle among the hoodoos and reportedly said that this canyon was one hell of a place to lose a cow. Now the cattle are gone and the thrilling canyon bears his name. But despite its dry desert landscapes, Utah is a land of endless surprises and the Glen Canyon National Recreation Area is one of them. Rivaling Arizona's Grand Canyon for sheer majesty, Utah's Glen Canyon leaves those who see it similarly speechless. Images of this landscape can look like those that rovers might send back to Earth from distant planets. Except here, there's lots of water, including these turquoise ribbons in a place called Mokui Canyon. one of the most beautiful places in the entire state. 